Alright, welcome back, people. Um, this is actually not going to be a long segment. It's actually a short segment because, well, I'm going to show off a star because it is the location where I need to get my star bit collecting. And I just wanted to show that off before I actually do a recording. And holy shit, there's a lot of blue lumas. You weren't here a minute ago. Where'd you come from? Anyways, ignoring the blue lumas. Um, um, the audio might sound different. It's like every video, my audio sounds different. But I'm trying to test it out because, I don't know, something may be wrong with YouTube where it fucks up my audio. I don't know why. But anyways, we come to this Luma right here, and he wants... What's a point at him? 400 star bits. Luckily, I have over 700. Thanks to my mass collecting in the last segment. Go figure. But this place, I will do... Super mass collecting. <sighs> and so he transforms into an epic galaxy, which I hate. You remember that level I was talking about that I hated in the last segment besides the water loop one? This is another one I hate. A very sticky situation. I remember there was a Soft Park episode where they said that like every five seconds. It was like, that was a very sticky situation and then everybody just started laughing. But enough of South Park. This place is what I would, what I would like to call Starbit Heaven. And also, the place of epic doom. Eh, I have to scratch my nose. Anyways, what you gotta do is you gotta slingshot yourself to these different pods. It may seem easy, but not necessarily. Sometimes it gets really fucking annoying because you don't know if you exactly line things up like that and you end up dying a lot I don't know how many times I'm gonna die in this video but eventually I will get through this but um, that's my plan basically um, one thing is once you get to a certain point you can mass collect star bits you can max out your star bits and still collect extra lives and the thing is, that's what I'm going to be doing here. Uh, that's all I'm going to be doing. This is the only reason why I came to this level early. See? And the star bits. I'm almost at 50. And I almost died. Okay. There we go. Yeah. And luckily this level is plentiful with life, so... And star bits. Another life. Look at that, we're already at 72. And we're not even halfway through yet. But you gotta be careful on some of these shots. Because you can miss and it will screw you up. Now, this area over here, this is where you want to collect tons of star bits. You can collect upwards of, hun of like, I would say 100 each time. There's just a lot of them. There's a lot of star bits. Look at this. It's crazy. I'm not gonna stick here all day. I just wanted to show you off. Oh my god, no. No, 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 no. I'm not dying. Okay. And then you just slingshot yourself here, and there you go. Yeah, let's see. Next one. Yeah, this place usually... This place usually kills me a lot, because... It's just, it's a ridiculous level. You have to get so many things perfectly sometimes, and it's quite annoying. I mean, I don't know why, I just hate this place. It's really, I consider it to be one of the more uh, difficult stars to get in the beginning of the game. Look at that, 150 star bits, and we're barely in this place. No! <sighs> this is why I hate this place. <sighs> like I said, you, so many shots you actually have to get very perfect. I'm collecting thousands of star bits yet again. You can never get a, too many star bits in this level. They're plentiful, and I think I've said this like five times already. 
This level, Star Bits. Get him. Go. Now. Hopefully this audio comes up better because it's really been messing with me and I have no explanation why. Eh, barely under. Okay. Watch. There we go. Alright, so it only took me three tries. Not too bad. And with that, we have 23 stars. And you know what we can do with 23 stars? We can go to the next boss area where another grand star is. Yeah, that's right. 23 stars unlocks the next boss area. <sighs> My god. See? Look at that. That's the boss area. Right now. Ooh. Ow. Oh. And I'll save. But yeah, basically that's what I'm gonna do. So, um, off screen time, I'm gonna be collecting like. By the next time you see me, this will probably be over 4,000. That's gonna be ridiculous. But yeah, um, so. It's probably gonna be a transition to the actual segment itself. So, um. Bye. Bye. I'm stopping now. Post commentary. Yeah. Um, there's a reason behind this. Um, I know it's kind of weird. I don't usually do post commentary for most of my stuff nowadays, but I had to. As a result of me getting a star, accidentally saving, and rage quitting before. I actually finished the segment and deleted all the audio, but it's unlikely that you would have liked to hear it. It was just me and a bunch of me rambling on about how much I hate stuff. So essentially, I scrapped the segment, but this is the remnants of what it is, and thankfully I saved this segment or I'd be very angry, because I didn't realize that I got two stars without save and saved. So, I will show you these two stars in the next segment, you'll see all the other stuff. So anyways, I am currently contemplating which galaxy that I want to do, and I decide why not do Hurry Scurry before I do the actual level that got me to rage quit. So, this is a shrunken satellite, it's, um, how to say it, very easy, it's, it's really, uh, repeating words. It's it's simple to do, and there's another star that it has the exact same level design as this one. Yeah, Nintendo, um, I know you have some difficulties syncing up stuff, but I mean, come on. <laughs> Think of something original, but yeah. Hurry Scurry Galaxy is pretty simple. Um, basically what happens is all these notes surround the whole entire, um... So whatever the hell this thing is, it, they say it's a satellite, but this isn't a satellite at all. This is more like some weird green thing, a jigger, or whatever. So, anyways, all I have to do is run around and get these notes, and bam! The black hole turns into a star for some reason. I don't know why. It just does. And I decide to play around and mess with physics, and then eventually I'm like, ah, screw it, get the star. Yeah. But that was the simple start, it wasn't at all difficult. The next one, on the other hand, I had to do many, many tries. And we'll get to that in a second, but uh, yeah, with that we have 24 stars. And a bunch more star bits, yeah. And, oh yeah, I didn't mention that, but yeah, I got over 4,000 star bits, so... <laughs> I'm ready for anything. So, um... There's one thing that I'll probably mention in the next segment, but there is secret stars within each level, and they appear after you get all of the required stars, and they'll appear above in a star that you've already done. Uh, later on, I will actually probably explain why some of the earlier levels didn't have those secret stars. So, anyways, I come back here, and I need to get star bits in order to get to the next star, so what I do is I use these bombs and essentially try to blow up these containers full of star bits so I can collect them. 
now here comes a bunch of failure. I take this bomb and essentially I go over here and I toss it. And because of gravity physics, the thing decides to fling itself on the side of it. I get mad, I'm like, okay, whatever. So I decide to get another one. I try the exact same thing again. And you know what it does. It flings on the top. <sighs> mad again, I decide, oh, I'll be smart about this. I'll throw it from the very top. It, physics will attract it to another one of these UFO things. Then I decide, you know what? Fuck it. I decide I'm gonna kamikaze. I'm gonna stand right next to it with the bomb in my hand, and I don't care. Let physics take over no more. And essentially, I just kill myself. I don't know why. Yeah, and... I don't know why it possesses me to collect all these star bits. But then again, I thought I had to get upwards of 50, and I didn't know how many star bits I was going to collect in the next area. So I just sort of decided, why the hell not? So, anyways, we actually go to the next area, which is the thing of all the unchanged chain chomps rolling around. Like those stupid boulders that killed me in the earlier segment. <sighs> I would still never hate them. I would still hate those. So essentially, I have to come over here and get up a bomb. And then go over here. Thankfully, physics don't fuck up. But yeah, I, I'd be stupid and run around the wrong way. So I throw it up there, wait for it to blow. And then I get to go Rainbow Luigi and then basically essentially run into all these stupid uh, um, chain chomps and collect their star bits. Yeah, it's it's really simple. You can get most of the star bits that you need just on this island alone. And with that, I killed all of them, and I have upwards of 70 star bits. So I'm just like, yes! Talk to this guy, alright. So, you want 50? And I'm like, yes, I got 50. And he's like, I need 30. I feel like an idiot, because I already collected 30 previous before getting on this stupid thing, so I could have just went straight to him. I didn't realize that I was an idiot, so whatever. I'm like, alright, whatever, just go on. This, this star is going to be a bitch to get. So yeah, now this new planet is born, and it is quite ridiculous, and it's the reason why I rage and quit. So, this is garbage cleanup. But not just any garbage cleanup. Garbage cleanup with the bombs. Thing is, it would be a lot more efficient if the bombs actually blew up faster. But yeah, I'll get to that in the actual um, stuff itself. So, essentially, I'm just like... Okay, come on, let's just hurry up and do it. Essentially, in the original segment, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna fail at this many times. I think I, I showed, like, two originally in the, um, segment, I'm like, alright, I failed two times, I'm gonna cut it out. So, this is the first attempt of it, and I already see my failure at this. Oh, god, I'm really bad at this. So, essentially, it just... Yeah, I missed one, there's no possible way I'm gonna win this, so I'm just like, whatever, just... Just show it off. And I'm just hoping maybe next time I'll actually get a good attempt. So yeah, as you can see, I messed six. That's so... Yeah. Pissed me off. So luckily for editing's sake, I actually cut it out and cut immediately to the actual good attempt. And we'll see that right now. So this is my successful attempt, and after many rage quits later, I think upwards of 10 times where I'm just like, ah, oh, I hate this place! So we get to here, and essentially I can kick this thing's ass simple now. I mean, if it wasn't for before, I would have just like, went, like, god awful insane. I mean, it was already annoying enough as it is trying to complete this thing. So in order to win this thing, you gotta get good and do what's called a chain. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. And I won. Thankfully, but uh, I had so much rage quit at the end of it, I'm like, screwed, I'm done with this, I'm never doing it again, and I saved. And that's the reason why I have to do post-commentary for this. If not, I would have just, like, done this over and then done it off-screen. But yeah, with that, we get all of them. And next time, I'll see you guys for an actual legitimate me talking in a segment. So, see you then.